Okay guys, here we are, back again. Um, this is the setup I've came up for uh, storing everything. On the bottom here, that's my Palmetto State Armory 556 carbine. Um, on the top, that's the dedicated uh, 22 upper. I'm in Palmetto State Armory lower. I don't really have room for a, a gun safe or or the the money right now to build another lower for this, so it's not ideal, but it keeps everything together in a neat package. Let's see if I can get this out of here one-handed. Okay, here it is. Uh, that on top there, it's a BSA red dot. My boss, he's letting me uh, let me borrow this so I can at least shoot it. And just some cheapo rings. I'm saving up for uh, darn motorcycles. Uh, sorry, um, I'm saving up for a uh, Nikon. Uh, rim fire scope. It's got ballistic drop for a 22 long rifle. Should work pretty nice for this rifle. Uh, yeah, this is a. This is what the UTG rail looks like without without those stupid rail covers on there. Really hate those things. And uh, oh, that's right. I, the the bolt isn't in it right now. The CMMG uh, conversion bolt because it broke. Um, I was in the process of installing the barrel adapter and taking the chamber adapter off and the end plate broke on it. Okay, oh, let me see, I have that right here actually. Oops, part of the camera work. There we go. That's the uh, the chamber adapter right there. That replaces that big honking thing that looks like a 223 caliber casing. Well, basically, you have to spread the end of that open just far enough where you can slide that adapter out and do it again to slide this back in there. Well, in the process of me doing that, this uh, end plate right here broke off. You can see it's welded there on this one. It's got a weld on the top and a weld on the bottom. Well the one that broke all it had was this weld back here. Um, CMMG was their customer service was great. I sent them an email within an hour. I sent the email I believe at like 7 o'clock in the morning on like a Tuesday. I had a response back within an hour I said hey could you take a picture of the part that's broken with uh, your address so we can send you a new one so I did that within an hour they said okay thanks um, got the picture we got you a new part on the way about I think it was about four business days they sent me just the uh, the frame which is this end plate and then that long flat piece, that's what they sent me and I just swapped everything over, no big deal, it was easy to do. But um, yeah, it was easy to deal with. Um, so yeah, this adapter snaps on to the, uh, the barrel, it's got a, a groove and then there's a ball detent in this. And it just uh, slides in there. Let me see if I can do this one handed also. Slide the charging handle back a bit. Get it in there. Do to do, do. Push it in. See that just locked the collar onto the barrel. There we go. It's in there. Nice. 
Yeah, let me see if I can get a real nice close-up of this rail here. It's the product number. You can see the the Molly lube that I use. It's kind of come out. I think I use a little too much, but it shouldn't hurt anything. It's got a that little tab right there pushes against the receiver though there's no chance of this thing loosening up there's some locking lugs that lock it in there even further it's a pretty nice setup I mean and these are uh, quick release um, sling swivel attachments little push buttons you just push them right in there and there is four on each side that's not the particular type of sling that I use but it's there if I want it and, uh, there you go made in the USA UTG Pro now they do have another model of this that doesn't have the continuous top rail and I mean it's close it's not perfect but for what I paid for that for this that's pretty darn good And I'm, I'm just using a standard A2 flash hider on this that was left over from when I put the Dynacomp on my 5.56 upper. So, uh, yeah, this, this fits up real nice with my lower. It's not quite as tight a fit as the Palmetto upper on the Palmetto lower, but makes it easy to swap out. No complaints. Um... Yeah, if you guys got any questions, just post a comment or send me a message, whatever. I'll try and get back to you as fast as I can. Um, yeah, overall, I mean, this was a really simple to do, being that there's no gas block. I think if I built another rifle, I would definitely use this setup. As opposed to spending the extra money on a janitor defense. Because for what I use it for... Perfect. Anyways, I'm going to quit blabbering now. And uh, that completes my 22 build series. Hopefully, uh, here soon I'll be able to get out and shoot it. Within a week or so, hopefully. And I'll try and get some footage of that. If not, I'll let you guys know how it performs. See ya.